Hello, all you bladers. Today, we're unboxing Command Dragon D5. So here we have Imperial Dragon D5. This did release in Beyblade Burst Rise. It comes with a Hypersphere Launcher, which is always nice. Um, and uh, yeah, Imperial Dragon Ignition, or Command Dragon actually is the Hasbro name. And then obviously this is the spin time is about two, drop in time is about four. Makes sense for an attack type, but the stamina shouldn't be too bad on this thing. And then the layer is pretty big. There's the ignition driver, and then there's that, obviously. So let's flip it back over and get into unboxing this. I'm actually gonna record myself unboxing this, just just because, like, you guys can see if you like it or not. But uh, I'm just gonna record myself unboxing this in super speed. So let's unbox this, baby. <laughs> So let's get into unboxing this Beyblade. So first we have the Dragon Chip, and actually let me get the original Imperial Dragon just to compare. So here we have the original Imperial Dragon. I gotta say the chip looks bigger actually. No, it looks the same size. Uh, it looks different in the color scheme. I mean, Imperial Dragon had definitely more gold. Uh, it had like blue and gold and green on the face. This just has gold and a green eye. The center is pretty similar. And then the outside, this is kind of like skyish blue with like tags of white. This is just blue with a tiny bit of gold claws. So I gotta say the actual Imperial Dragon chip is a lot more detailed, but uh, I think mean, it's nothing too different. Actually, yeah, it is pretty different. This uh, chip is a lot more detailed for sure, but this is translucent, so I guess that's nice. And then, um, these are the slopes if you want to see them. They look pretty flat, actually. They look pretty flat. They, they, I don't know, I might be wrong, but this may, this Beyblade may be one that bursts a lot. I'm, I'm guessing at least. So here's the Imperial Dragon layer base. Uh, you can definitely see the thickness resemblance. One thing I do want to com um, compare is that this obviously is TT, so it's going to have a lot more detail right off the bat, but it has rubber, the spring gimmick, the metal. I mean, Hasbro doesn't do metal on the layers. That's just the way they are, but at least the spring gimmick. I mean, you did that with God Valkyrie about three years ago, so why not Imperial Dragon, right? Looks... I don't know, it, it looks pretty hollow on the inside, and the slopes are pretty flat on the inside, but the actual base is pretty upwards, not downwards. So, so far, I'm guessing that this Beyblade is probably gonna burst a lot, but you can see that the, you can see the blade resemblance at least, like these blades here definitely resemble, and you can see the little dragon details there. The only difference is that this doesn't have all the gimmicks, and this is gold, this is silver. I mean, they could have made this silver, but I personally like the gold a, a tiny bit better. I mean, if the silver had with sticker, I'd prefer the silver, but, you know, gold looks nice as well. So, final piece of Imperial, or should I say Command Dragon, is Ignition Dash, and like, uh, like, um, friction, or was it? It was like swipe, uh, the top part of the metal is really similar to the actual um, ignition dash. You can see little plates here. I mean, there's wires underneath here, so it's kind of hard to see because of the translucentness, but if you look really closely, if I try to shine the light on them, you can see the four points here. You can see the four points here. And then if you flip it to the bottom side, it is a bit shorter because of the stick, but it does emulate the metal, the fan things that are electric. Not that it has electric in the actual driver, but it has this little bridge around the inside. So it looks pretty similar to ignition. 
So with that being said, let's put the Imperial Dragon layer base together and put this Beyblade together. So uh, let's see the teeth. I'm going to just describe it slowly how I feel it. Uh, in the first super like little, it's pretty tight, but then it's just really loose. I knew it. I, I guessed it and I was right. I just had a, I had a feeling that this Beyblade would be bursted, would be burst a lot. And I don't think it's Hasbro's fault. Personally, I think that because TT made it this way and obviously Hasbro, uh, designed their own bay in like TT's version. Like they designed Imperial Dragon like TT did it um, for the actual slopes and everything because the layer base is so big and everything. It's just same problem with Hasbro. I feel like if TT had made the chip bigger or the base downward then Hasbro would have done it too and none of these would have bad burst resistance. But at least TT has dash drivers. I mean, Hasbro doesn't really have dash drivers. I mean, you could slap on Paradox or something, but I don't know. I mean, this might not burst a lot because the layer is pretty round maybe, but I'm expecting this to burst a lot. So let's go ahead and weigh this, but weigh this guy. I beg to differ, 14 grams, wow. Okay, I guess the layer really is hollowed out on the inside. Oh, there's the QR code by the way, just in case I forget again. So there's a QR code. And then if we take the actual chip out, it should be about two grams, maybe three. And the layer base should be around 11 to 12. That's about minus three grams. So turn that off. So that means it's three grams. This is about 11 grams. Yeah, that adds up. And then obviously if you want to see the driver's weight. Okay, 29, I, okay, wow. I mean, maybe because of this metal around it, maybe. Maybe just because I don't know, is there something inside? That's a lot heavier than other Hypersphere drivers, for sure. Now that I think about it, this Beyblade could be pretty heavy. Let's see, 43, I mean, that's heavier than other uh, Beyblades, but there's really no way to customize it. I mean, other Beyblades like Eclipse Genesis, you can add a frame and add the double O disc, and that would be like in the 50s, but you can't really customize this. I mean, you could add generate or something, but that wouldn't really change the weight a lot. So let's do a test spin and see if this bursts a lot. First, let's do a test spin with a light launch, just to see how it spins. It looks pretty nice. It's, you can see the blue, the gold around the outside, the red in the center, the dark blues, the whites. And then you just slow it down. You, when you slow it down, you can see the smaller details a lot. Like, there's only two golden lit. That's a lot of life after death. That's a lot of life after death. Even for a hypersphere day, that's a lot of life after death. So that was a light launch. Let's do a flat launch, hard. Okay, let's do another flat launch, hard. I'm guessing this will go out of control because it just did that, but who knows. Okay, let's try again. So put this Beyblade on here. Launch. So, yeah, this Beyblade will definitely, I, I don't know, it doesn't go super fast around, it just, it's super fast and it bounces around the walls. It's kind of unpredictable in the way it moves. Let's do an angled launch, and this time I will remember to do it like this. With an angled launch, it is a bit more controlled, I'm guessing because in the beginning, it's the friction that slows it down a little bit. So. With Imperial Dra um, Command Dragon, oh yeah, I barely touched it in at first. So we have a little test battle, not against a specific Beyblade, just a combo, a big Eclipse Genesis, yeah, Eclipse Genesis 10 Guard. This isn't like competitive or anything, just to see, we're just gonna put it up against this combo to see if it bursts a lot. Just maybe one or two battles. So there's Big Bang Gen uh, Eclipse Genesis. Sorry, Eclipse Genesis. So 
so that burst, but it did hit it pretty hard. I I don't know. I mean, it does a lot of damage. I mean, if it didn't burst right there, that's how fast it would be spinning. I mean, if that's how fast the driver is spinning, then that's how fast the bay would be spinning if it didn't burst. So let's try one more round, maybe. We'll try another round. So put Big Bang Gen Eclipse Genesis. I keep saying Big Bang, the Big Bang. So Eclipse Genesis and then Angled Launch with Command. So, I wouldn't say it bursts too much. Yeah, so, I feel like, I don't know, it feels pretty loose. But, I guess you just need a really big hit. I mean, if you hit it semi-hard, it might burst. It feels pretty loose, but it didn't burst this round. Let's do one more battle. Just, just one more to see if it bursts a lot. It didn't burst this round either. It didn't even take any damage and it was hitting it pretty hard. I wouldn't say this bursts a lot. Whoops. I wouldn't say that it, this bursts a lot, but it bursts. I don't know. I, I, I mean, it's not super good at burst resistance or anything. I mean, now that I think about it, I'd rank this Beyblade good. Like maybe like if I would say one out of 10, one through 10, I would maybe put it at a six maybe? Maybe a five or a six? I mean, it hits pretty hard, it has pretty good stamina, but then again, it, I don't know. It, it's it's a good Beyblade, it's a good Beyblade. Nothing's really wrong with it besides the slopes and the lack of detail, but I mean, we've only seen it burst once, so who can tell? Uh, here is the QR code if you don't have it already, so. Here's that, let's try to zoom out, different angles and all that. That should be enough. So let's put this bay together, and uh, that's all we have to say about Imperial Drag uh, Command Dragon. So thank you for watching. Now that we have six Hypersphere Beyblades, I'm definitely excited to doing Hypersphere battles, uh, even if it is in the Slingshock or Snake Pit or Championship or Chaos or Starstorm Stadium. But uh, thank you for watching and peace out. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, hit that like button, share the video. And until then, have fun and keep on blading.